First impressions are everything, and this includes your online Dungeons and Dragons game. But the first thing your player sees and interacts with sets the tone for everything that comes after. This is where a landing page comes in for your virtual tabletop. A landing page is the scene where your players first come in on, and they join the game. In my opinion, a landing page is where you will spend most of your time, so having it look nice and, very important, functional, paramount. LGBTT allows you to do some amazing things with landing pages. These are just a few examples of what you can do. You're able to do amazing things to set the tone of your campaign with just one page. In the description below, you'll find the assets, base.png, and the Photoshop file for the landing page we will be using today. What we will be setting up is a pretty basic landing page that will do the following things for you. Clicking a player's portrait will bring up their character sheet. Clicking the small map changes the scene to a travel map. Clicking the left page of the journal brings up a quest log, and clicking the right page brings up a community journal that your players can leave notes in. And finally, clicking the coin bag will open a bag of holding. I feel like these things are all you really need from your landing page. You can certainly do more than just these things with your landing page, but it's always good to have a good baseline to start from. So before we get started, if you like my content and want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Only like 10% of you are actually subscribed, and I'm grateful for every single one of you guys. The modules we'll be using today are Monk's Active Tile Triggers, Monk's Enhanced Journals, and Forian's Quest Log. These will all be linked in the description down below. So our first step is to customize the base file for your campaign. I'm not going to really go over this, it's pretty simple image editing in the image editor of your choice. Customizing, I mean of course, using your party's portraits in your own map. Now, with the image editing done, bring it in as a background into your scene. Here we'll be using Monk's active tile triggers to make everything clickable and refer you to the correct place. Our first goal is to make our character portraits bring up the correct character sheet when they click on them. First thing we do is make a new tile over the portrait. Then we will use a transparent image for the tile, which can also be found in the description below. Now once that is set up, we go to the triggers tab. Here, the setting we want is to change the win from on enter to your choice of on click or on double click. And then check the hover over pointer checkbox. Next, we'll want to go over to Actions and add only one action here. This action being the very simple Open an Actor Sheet. Now, you want the Select Entity to be the character sheet of the portrait, and you want to only show to the triggering player. This makes it so the person clicking on the towel is only opening the character sheet, and it's not showing to everyone else. Now, just copy and paste this over the remaining portraits, changing what entity it is to match the players. With the portraits done, it is now time to go over to our map. Here, we'll be having the map switch out to a larger travel map when you click on it. First, set up a scene with your map as the background, then set up the grid to your liking, and make sure to change the grid scale to fit whatever scale you currently are using for it. Now, follow the previous steps of the previous tile, and instead of using the open and actor sheet action, use the change scene action. Set the scene to be your previously made travel map scene. Make sure that the activate checkbox is actually unchecked. If this is checked, it will activate the scene, pulling everyone to it. You just want the person clicking it to be the one to be put to the scene. Next up is the journal. Here, we'll just be using the same substance as before, but this time with Forian's quest log installed. Since we have the module, Monk's Active Tile Triggers has its own actions for it. Here, we can choose the action to open the page, allowing your players to see their current quest that they are on. Make sure to leave it on just the triggering player. For the right side, have the action set as Open a Journal and choose a freshly made community journal so everyone can write down their notes. A cool thing you can do with this is update it every week with a new journal, allowing you and them to keep a weekly log of what happened on a week-to-week -week basis. And finally, the Bag of Holding. First, make a new loot journal with Monk's Enhanced Journal and name it Bag of Holding. You'll want to click this lock button and make everyone be an owner of this sheet, allowing them to drag and drop and edit it. Then, depending on how hands-off you want to be, set player receiving to be anyone if you want to be completely hands-free, or confirm receipt if you want to manually agree to them taking things from it. Now, with the bag of holding set up, you want to place a new tile. Same steps as before, but this time have the action be an open journal, selecting the bag of holding journal. 
can set it to only open for the triggering player, and check the use of Monk's Enhanced Journal. There you have it, a nice landing page for your campaign. Until next time, make sure you like and subscribe.